Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the Sheep Kishir podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, Austin Creed, and I want to welcome you into the morning show. My friends, in the past, when it comes to the morning show, my goal has been to motivate people. And, you know, that's not going to change this morning. But, you know, one of the lessons I learned in the military was this. Tough love is important. And good medicine tastes lousy. You know, brothers, I gotta really let y'all know something real quick. Because this is making... This is unacceptable to me. Do you have any idea how many times I... Whether it's because I'm in college and I walk around and I see men my age, a little younger... I walk around Scottsdale, Arizona. I go through the mall. I see the guys with the fancy cars, the guys that go go to the country club. You know what I notice, my friends? Gen Z, my generation, is a disaster. A disaster. Why do I say that? When I talk to my grandfather, who's part of the silent generation, he's a very, he's a much older gentleman. He tells me stories of what it was like when he was a kid. When he was a kid, the world was at war. When he was a kid, he would tell me stories about his uncle who went to fight Nazis. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, he'd tell me the stories about his uncle who went to fight Nazis. My friends, that was not that long ago. I know that if you're 20 years old, you're you're in your 20s, your late teens like me. You think that that was 50, 11 years ago and that was ancient history. No, my friends, there are people who are still alive today who are alive during that time. And yet I come out here, whether it's on my news feed, whether it's from people that I know and I see the pro-Palestinian movement. Burning Israeli flags, chanting slogans from the Nazis and the Soviets. And I've come to a realization, my friends. Weak men create hard times. I'll repeat that in case you missed it. Weak men create hard times. Reality is often very disappointing. That's why in the Marvel Universe, I have an infinity stone centered around this idea of manipulating reality to suit your whims. When in fact you don't need a stone to do that, everyone already does that with their minds. The human mind, as I've said before, is the last unexplored continent on earth. Everybody has one, but they don't realize how their mind works. They don't understand the power they possess. Because they received their mind for free at birth, they do not understand the power that they actually wield. They don't understand the human condition. They don't understand human suffrage. They don't understand anything besides Trump is no good, uh, Israel is colonialism, Zionism is racism, and socialism is equality. That's all people get that are in my generation for the large majority. Now, there might be some of you who are outliers. God bless you. But you know what? If you're not speaking out like me, if you don't call out the garbage, the lies, the propaganda, and you sit there and you just complain about it, you're part of the problem. Because you're enabling this garbage. If you could see a piece of garbage on X or in real real life who is espousing the same line as Joseph Goebbels, the propagandist of old Adolf, and you don't call that out. You don't say, wait a minute, hold on, you are repeating history. Hold on a minute. Do you not understand where that comes from? That's a sign of weakness, because you're afraid that if you say something, you're going to get called out. You're afraid that if you say, hey, hold on a minute, that ain't right. That is unacceptable behavior. We're not going to stand for that. That leads to this, and that led to that. And before you know it, that leads to the, to the death mills. But guess what? You don't say that. You keep your mouth shut. 
You know, there's a saying on the left that silence is violence. I wouldn't say that silence is violence. I would say that silence can lead to violence if something is not done. There was a bishop during World War II in, in Europe, in Germany, who talked about how first they came for the communists, but I said nothing because I was not a communist. Then they came for the Jews, but I said nothing because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak up for me. My friends, that is exactly what is happening. And I paraphrased his quote, but that is the whole point. This is happening in our time right now. Right now, again, the canary in the coal mine, the state of Israel, the Jews are again under attack by the Hitlers and headscarves called the radical Muslims, Hezbollah, Hamas, all those lovely pieces of garbage that are loved by the left. And unfortunately, some people on the right as well. I, I can't, I got to call a spade a spade. I'm not going to sit here and just take the party line or any party line. I'm a party of one. The ultimate minority, a man who identifies with no race, no religion, no, no creed, nothing. Just me, Austin Creed. That's it. That's just me, my friends. But you know what? It was the hard men of my grandfather's generation who created the good times. Men like Eisenhower created the good times in this country after World War II. Now, we have the good times of creating weak men that was from the 40s to now. And now we have the weak men, the Zennials, Millennials, Gen Z, hopefully not Gen Alpha who's coming after us. But we are the weak, but my generation are the weak men who are going to create hard times. Now make no mistake about it, there are some people who are older, the boomers, who are not helping. People like Joe Biden, warmongering, profiteering piece of garbage in my opinion. Who's out here pretending like he cares about Ukraine and Israel when all he cares about is the bottom line and getting his kick back to the big guy, in my estimation. And I know just saying that is probably going to get the FBI, the CIA, and all the alphabet organizations to come after me because that's, that's how corrupt the government has become. Under Trump's administration, there were people on a regular basis who called for his demise and the Secret Service did nothing. Now you have a story of a guy who talks bad about Joe Biden and makes a passive comment about him, and then the FBI shows up on his doorstep and kills him. Oh yeah, you didn't hear about that, did you? The, yeah, that wasn't a very popular story. Didn't I didn't get picked up by the alphabet channels on the cable networks. No, but I saw it. Oh, and by the way, for all those of you who care about police brutality, uh, the, the feds don't wear their cameras. Uh, the beat cops in your local neighborhood, they got to wear go, um, GoPros and, and cameras. The feds, the FBI, CIA, all the uh, ATF, they don't got to wear cameras. So for all you know, whatever they say is 100% bullcrap. For all you know, they showed up to his doorstep, he answered the door, and they shot him in the head. I'm sorry to get graphic. But... They could say, oh, he struggled, he did this, he did that. There is no proof other than his buddies next to him who are also part of the swamp, who are also part of the bureaucracy, who have no videotape that's supposed to maintain neutrality. Nothing. Zero. They could pull up to my crib right now and do the same thing to me and it would not make it to the front page news. It wouldn't. All I have to do is go look on, on X on Twitter and see a, a group of 15 teens beat a white boy to death on camera and they say 15 attackers versus if it was 15 white boys who beat up a black kid they'd say 15 members of the Ku Klux Klan wearing and they, they'd edit it so they could have Klan outfits on and then they would show that and then it would be national news and Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson would come out of retirement talking about hey hey ho ho Western Silver's got to go when it was Al Sharpton who went to the Diamond District of New York City, uh, when I think it was Gavin Cato who got killed, 
and he made the most disgusting, vile, anti-Semitic slurs of all time. But it wasn't covered. It wasn't publicized. It wasn't... Wait, hold on. What did he just... Wait, hold on, hold on a second. What did he just say? Nothing. Zero. My friends, this is straight out of Animal Farm. Straight out of Animal Farm, where not all animals are equal to... No not all animals are equal. You're supposed to be equal, but some animals are more equal than others. That is where we're at, my friends. That is where we're at in society. Never thought I'd see the day. But I don't have to wait any longer because it's here. I see it every day. And gentlemen, if you think it's all about the race and the politics, the philosophical standpoint, you're mistaken. You want, to, you want to know another thing? I'll, I'll get on everybody's necks today. I ain't letting anybody off the hook today. If you're one of these goofy game dudes who's always thinking about how you got to get, if you're a poon hound, a poon hound, and you're out here saying, hey, man, I got to get laid, I got to get chicks, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to get high, I got to get drunk, I got to do all these things, guess what? You're part of the problem. You are adding to the weak men. You are adding to the category of weak men. If you can't function, if you have no goal, if you have no job, no ambition, no direction, no purpose, nothing, you're weak. Go ahead, turn the show off. If that makes you feel bad, turn the show off. Go ahead. Go ahead, I don't, I don't, need, I don't need your weakness saturating my channel. Get out of here, I don't need you. I am sick of the weakness that's passed off as strength. I'm sick of going online and seeing the men wearing me women's dresses from the 1950s and then pretending like, oh, that's real masculinity. Oh, that's really healthy masculinity. And that's true strength. Schmuck. Courage used to be a firefighter going into a burning building and, and bringing out children. Now it's a guy putting on a makeup and a dress. Can you believe this? No, that's not, it's not heroism. That's called illness of the mental capacity of, of the mental kind. And then I'm supposed to sit here and pretend like that's not the case and hem and haw and, and abba dabba dabba. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I want you to be better. I'm sick of the weakness. I'm sick of it. I am so done with the, the weakness that the cylinderates that surround me. I'm sick of it. For those of you who don't know, the English language, it means invertebrate. You have no backbone. You might as well be a worm. I'm sick of it. People want to numb themselves pretending like they're in that much pain when it's the fact that you're in pain that's supposed to prove you're alive and you can give something to society, to other people. We are on this planet to serve one another and give. You think all the rich people are crooks. Wrong. They're not crooks. They gave to society. They provided a product or a service, and money was what they received for that service that they rendered. But you think they're all crooks. When the only crook is you, because all you do is take, and you give nothing but garbage and hot air. And I'm sick of it. I'm not having it anymore. I'm sick of the weakness, and it's time the hard, time, the hard times are here. What are you going to do about it? You're going to keep complaining and complaining that the rent's too high, that you can't get the girls you want. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to sit there and complain? You're not going to sit there and get the hell to work and stop being a weak piece of garbage? Let's get out here and let's actually start winning. Because let me tell you something. Good medicine tastes lousy. And old Austin Creed here, me, will give you the dose of reality you need to get straight. Because you know that I'm right. If you're still listening and you haven't checked the hell out because you got called out and you got mad and you got in your feelings, good. You're already on the right you're already on the right path. I congratulate you. But now let's make some action. Let's get some action going in here. Let's get some goals. Let's actually do something today. My friends, it's time to stop the journey. The, we're like the Titanic heading right for the iceberg and we're about to hit it and everybody's still drinking and partying on who they're still smoking 
This whole drinking, smoking, and straight west coast now here, and they don't want to understand what we're dealing with, that the iceberg inches closer with every single passing moment. But they don't want to see it. They want the party to continue. There won't be a party for much longer. So let's avoid this collision course with the iceberg by handling business. The holidays are around the corner. Are you going to go... Spend time with your family, or are you gonna are you gonna wuss out and not handle those tough conversations that could salvage what your ancestors killed themselves to build, which is your family, by the way? Or are you gonna sit there and, and be weak about it? It's time we stop this nonsense, my friends. I hope this message reached you. Sometimes you need tough love and a good dose of good hearty medicine. And I hope you got that this morning, my friends. God bless you. God bless your families and God bless America. Let's get out here and let's win. Let's stop being weak. Peace.